Thank you so much, first of all, for coming and joining us on a Saturday afternoon. So I know that shows your commitment. And uh, menopause, as we know, that it's, it's one of the subject which is least discussed. But that's good that in the last couple of years, it is emerging and people are talking more about it. And uh, uh, the idea is like lots of symptoms are masked with other things that's going on. As Zoe was mentioning earlier, that a lot of other things going on at this stage in our life, uh, where we have empty nests, we have like elderly parents, lots of things to deal about, and some of some of the symptoms like brain fog or those kind of things are masked with with other things that's going on in our in our life. And and believe me, I'm also going through those symptoms. <laughs> I'm at also at this stage, so if I, my brain fog, then I, if I turn black, so just excuse me for that. <laughs> and uh, so talking about uh, what causes like menopause, so my other clinician friends who will be talking later on will talk about diagnosis and HRT treatments, etc. But as a nutritionist, I will be talking more about how to do the lifestyle changes what lifestyle changes you can do and how they can help you and what nutrition or how healthy heating can help you with that. So first of all, like, uh, can we have the first slide? <laughs> I'll do that. It's okay. You just say next slide. I'll do it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so first of all, like, a little bit understanding what causes uh, menopause. So we, we have three... Uh, hormones mainly which dictate our reproductive system so decline in those three hormones estrogen progesterone and uh, testosterone so that causes a lot of symptoms because these hormones especially estrogen has a lot of protective effect on our heart and bone health so when we have like uh, when we have normal periods we are protected by those hormones but by the decline of these hormones that protective effect diminishes so diminishes so we are not no longer have that protective effect so what we need to do is getting those hormones either by food or by HRT treatments so how to get we'll talk more about how to get these hormones <coughs> like estrogen from food um, so some of these symptoms, you might be feeling fatigue, difficult in concentrating, headaches, abdominal pain, vaginal dryness, or low sex drive. So all of these are because of the decline of those three important hormones. And some other hormones, like follicle stimulating hormones, they are, they are increasing, and that causes hot flushes in us. So that is like disturbance of these hormonal disturbance that causes all our symptoms. And please, next slide. Thank you. <clears throat> and how can you overcome? So what lifestyle changes you can do and how can they help you? So lifestyle changes can help you to prevent your symptoms and control your symptoms, some of those. So at any stage of life, lifestyle changes are important. So healthy eating, physical activity, all these things are important at any stage of life. And particularly when we are going through changes, shifts. So at those stages and these stages, they are more important than other stages because we can overcome when we are young, we can do anything, we can go with lack of sleep, we can go with all those things, but when we are getting older, so we need to look into those lifestyle changes. And when we say lifestyle changes, five main things are healthy eating, we'll talk in a minute about it, and physical activity, a lot of physical activity like we are eating every day, so we need to do some activity every day as well, so it should be regular basis and hydration so lots of water so taking care of two to three liters of water in the day is important for us as well because our body is made up of 80 percent of water and our cells talk to each other through water is the main transport system within our body and if we lack that water so it's not going on very well and uh, Sleep, sleep is an important thing as well. So while we are sleeping, our body is doing a lot of maintenance work. And uh, imagine a machine without a maintenance, so that they can't work efficiently. So if we don't sleep for seven, eight hours, our body 
that can affect our efficiency of work. We feel tired and all those symptoms comes up. And then stress. Stress is also main factor so that can affect our overall health. Uh, so we need to see that how to manage your stress. So lots of things like even like breathing in and breathing out that can relieve your stress as well. So lots of things you can do to manage your stress. You have to look into those things which, which can suit you. And apart from these five, like, yeah, yeah, uh, stop, alco uh, stop smoking and reducing your alcohol. So that is important as well. So go coming back to health and nutrition. So how can you, uh, how can uh, increasing or eating healthily can help? So incre increasing phytoestrogens in your diet. So phytoestrogens like natural estrogens that you are getting from food. So these estrogens can mimic the real estrogen in our body and they just go to that estrogen receptor sites and that can help you uh, with reducing those symptoms. So because estrogen is coming, so body is thinking that estrogen is releasing. So, so then like you're not getting those symptoms, so reduce your symptoms. I'm done in a few minutes, I'm afraid. Really? <laughs> <laughs> and reducing... You have lots more slides, so maybe just your main take homes. Yeah. I'd like to go forward, so sorry. So reducing your carbs, balanced diet, <laughs> and avoid spicy food. So, sorry, I have to really... <laughs> yeah. it, it's his last topic, I can't finish it in 15 minutes. <laughs> I think you had five minutes, so I don't think you had this long. So, five to estrogen, so, so as I said, like, you can get natural estrogen, so that can... Uh, give you so what are the foods that can, that can give you like red clover and some cereals like barley oats mm -hmm. uh, seeds sunflower sesame and linseeds or soya seeds so, uh, not soya seeds flax seeds and some pulses beans and then vegetables so some of these you can include in your daily life to have natural estrogen from it thank you and Particularly, we need to uh, look into our bone health and heart health. Both are really important <laughs> because after the age of 35, we are, we are losing calcium from our bones and also our muscles. So that's why it is important to get that calcium and vitamin D because calcium and vitamin D can be absorbed together in our body. So how to get that calcium? Uh, you can have milk or cheese or yogurt in your diet and vitamin D you can have from eggs or mushrooms or fortified cereals and fish uh, or supplements. Thank you if you can. And do lots of jumping. <laughs> Safe jumping. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, uh, resistant exercises. Heart health, so you can like eat eat healthily, have five food groups in your diet, good carbs, complex carbs, and um, protein, good sources of protein, good sources of fats, and dairy, good dairy, uh, and fruits and vegetables, lots of, because we get fiber from them, and fiber is good to reduce risk of heart risk. So switching from saturated fats to unsaturated fats, looking into your diet and reducing saturated fats. All red meat is saturated fats, so reduce your red meat once in a week um, and increase your fish. Fish has omega-6, it's good, um, have good fats in it, is a source of protein. So twice a week is recommended by Public Health England. So have them in, uh, and lots of fruits and vegetables. And in improving your sleep. So magnesium is one of the mineral which helps you to uh, to sleep better. We call it relaxation harm uh, mineral. So you can have supplements of uh, magnesium with vitamin B or drinking alcohol and stress can reduce our body's capacity to absorb magnesium. So reducing those things can help as well. So. If you come to our stall, so this is the recipe, this is a way you can quickly have lots of in, uh, nutrients in your diet by just making a smoothie, which is a quicker way. So no excuses that you don't get time to cook healthy food. So you can just blend all together, strawberries and uh, spinach, and we chose like, uh, if you can, so, so this is like steps to uh, make smoothie. So you can, uh, we can, you can choose spinach, strawberry, flaxseed, ginger, and soya milk. So that will be your 
menopause healthy smoothie because all the ingredients will give you natural isoflavins so which can help you to to, re, to release uh, like nat natural estrogens in your diet and um, if you come to our stall at um, zone three so we have this flyer we are doing as zoe mentioned that new program on menopause uh, so um, three sessions of that diagnosis and treatment which will be delivered by our women specialist nurse and uh, nutrition lifestyle will be delivered by, by me and uh, we have one more psychological specialist who will give you psychological well-being so three series of session we are doing it online at present but we are planning to do it face to face at later stage and thank you for listening uh, <laughs> if you have any questions if you have any questions you can come to us at the stall and i will be really happy to answer any questions